and a blow for Microsoft's military contract. Congress has slowed down the funding for costly augmented reality goggles for the military made by the tech giant. NTD's Star Marshall has more. The Army's tech for soldiers is getting close to the levels of science fiction and video games with high-tech HoloLens goggles in the works from Microsoft. The Army plans to use the augmented reality goggles in the classroom and on the battlefield for mixed reality training. Some projected uses include operational prep, night vision, battlefield communications, weapons aiming assistance, and more. There are just a couple of problems with the Army's version of the HoloLens that need to be worked on. Tests showed that there were mission-affecting physical impairments, including headache, eye strain, and nausea. A common problem that also happens to some people when they try a virtual reality headset for the first time. <laughs> tech professional Burton Kelso. But, but the challenge is, is that when it comes to technology, everyone wants to be cutting edge. And if you look at examples like the metaverse, and um, we can even go back with uh, beta versus VHS, you know, 30 years ago. It's everyone wants to be cutting edge and people just jump onto the first thing that happens. Congress denied the U.S. Army's request for $400 million to buy as many as 6,900 pairs of goggles this fiscal year. Instead, lawmakers approved the transfer of 40 million of those procurement funds to develop a new model of the goggles, says Army spokesperson David Patterson. Some oppose the spending and have labeled it as an impulse buy. Most people think and most businesses think, and unfortunately the government thinks, if we latch on to this technology, it's going to put us light years against our competitors. And with the military, it's obviously foreign governments that we're competing against. And we want to get every advantage that we can get in order to make sure that we can stand out as a dominant power as far as the military around the world. A report found that the goggles were giving away the positions of soldiers. The report also found that soldiers complained that the device was uncomfortable and heavy, limiting their movement and even cutting off their peripheral vision. Despite the complaints, the Army is saying that the tests were a success. Sean Marshall, NTD News.